we are asked to convert the Cartesian coordinates 4, 6 to polar coordinates in the form r, theta, where r is greater than 0 and theta is between 0 and 2 pi radians. Remember, polar coordinates are not unique. Let's begin by applying the point 4, 6 on the coordinate plane. From the origin, we move right 4 units and up 6 units. r is the distance from the pole to the point, and therefore the length of this segment here is r. And then the angle theta is the angle of rotation from the positive x-axis to the point, which would be this angle here. Now to help us determine r and theta, let's sketch the reference triangle in the first quadrant where r is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So this would be one leg, and this would be the other leg. And because x is four, let's label this leg four, and because y is six, let's label this leg six. Notice now we can see we can find r by using the Pythagorean theorem, which is why r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And since tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, we can say tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. We need to keep in mind though that the output or range of arctangent is the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two, which means if the angle is not in the first quadrant, the arctangent function value is not going to give us the correct angle, but it will give us the reference angle that will help us determine the angle we want in the desired quadrant. Let's begin by determining r, where again r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, or in our case, r is equal to the square root of the quantity four squared plus six squared, which is equal to the square root of 16 plus 36. 16 plus 36 is equal to 52. We have r is equal to the square root of 52. This will simplify if 52 contains any perfect square factors. To see if it does, let's look at the prime factorization of 52. 52 is equal to two times 26. 26 is equal to two times 13. Two times two or four is a perfect square, and therefore the square root of 52 does simplify. 52 is equal to four times 13, and therefore we can write the square root of 52 as the square root of four times the square root of 13. Simplifying, we have r is equal to two square root 13. And now to determine the angle theta, where theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x. So in our case, we have theta is equal to arctangent of six divided by four, which is equal to three halves, giving us theta is equal to arctangent of three halves. And now we go to the calculator. We first wanna make sure we are in radian mode, so we press mode, and notice radian is highlighted, so we are in radian mode. We go back to the home screen, press second tangent for arctangent or inverse tangent, three divided by two, close parenthesis and enter. We're told to round to four decimal places. Because we have a nine in the fifth decimal place, we round up to 0 0.9828. This angle is the angle we are looking for because it is in the first quadrant and in the interval from zero to two pi radians. So the polar coordinates for the Cartesian coordinates four comma six using the given conditions are two square root 13 comma 0 0.9828. I hope you found this helpful.